Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Trading Company. We're here today with Fred and Simba and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Simba's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give him while we're working with him, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go to the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Simba's been fitted with his own personal training collar and we'll show you how to properly use this during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Simba is seated nicely on Fred's left, which is where all our obedience training is done. And the first command they're going to demonstrate is healing, which is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Simba take off doing that now. The command you want to use for this is Simba heal, and then you start walking and he'll fall right in line on your left hand side. And we've also gone ahead and incorporated our sit command into this, so anytime Fred stops his feet, Simba will sit. an example of the sit. Now it's important when you're healing Simba that he walks nicely at your pace on your left hand side without trying to pull ahead or lag behind. If he did attempt to pull ahead or lag behind, you say no, give a tug and let go correction to your training collar, repeat your command to heal, and then start walking again. Now the next command they're going to be demonstrating is our stay command. And this is a hand and voice command. Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm an inch or so from Simba's muzzle and the one word command to stay. He walks out to the end of the training leash. Now this is a good exercise to build up self-control in Simba. You can start practicing this one at about a minute's time and work your way up in increments till you get to about three minutes. Now as Fred returns back to Simba, he's going to walk all the way around him, providing an added distraction as he goes behind him, and right back to that left-hand side heel position. Simba holds that sit-stay throughout. Fred gives him some praise and then heals him right out of it. And we'll show you a little more of the heel sit and stay. That's it. And gives him the stay again. Back out to the end of that training leash. And now this time he'll demonstrate our coma recall command. You're going to call Simba in using his name. He comes in, sits right in front of you. And then we have an exercise called the finish. Fred's going to heal Simba right around the back of him and get him right back to that left hand side heel position and he sits. Demonstrate that recall one more time. He has him in a sit, gives him a stay, out to the end of the training leash. Then he's going to call him in using his name. Simba comes in. Fred has him sit right in front of him. And then the finish, Fred heals him right around the back of him and gets him right back to that proper left-hand side heel position, and he sits. That's a good time to remind you you want to practice all your commands with Simba about 15 to 20 minutes a day. You can practice inside or outside your home and just incorporate the commands into your daily routine with them. Next we're going to be showing you our down commands. The first one will be down from the heel position. Fred's going to use the open flat of his left palm straight down to the ground and the one word firm command to down. He then gives him a stay and walks out to the end of that training leash. Now this is another great exercise to build up that self-control in Simba. This one you can start practicing at about three minutes time and work your way up in increments till you get to about five. Now as Fred returns back to Simba, he's gonna walk all the way around him, just as he did on the sit stay, and right back to that left-hand side heel position. He holds that down throughout, Fred gives him some praise and then heals him right out of it. And we'll show you that down again when they come back around. Now you see Simba's doing very well, but it's always important to follow through with your commands, as every dog will try to test you. So if Simba does not obey one of your commands, the first word out of your mouth is always going to be no, followed by a tug and let go correction to his training collar, and then you're going to repeat the command you gave him. Now Fred will demonstrate that down again. He gave him the down, which is down and hand straight to the ground, then a stay and out to the end of the training leash. And this time he'll demonstrate that recall command right out of the down position. Calls him in, Simba gets up, comes right in, sits in front, and then the finish, Fred heals him right around the back of him, and gets him right back to that proper left hand side heel position, and he sits. Alright, we'll give them a second to get lined up for our final obedience command, which is down from a distance. Now 
This will be the down from a distance. You're going to have him in a sit, give him a stay, walk out to the end of your training leash. Now this is the only time you use your right hand to give the command, and Fred will drop him into a down from the end of the training leash. He'll then return back to him once again by walking all the way around to get right back to that proper left hand side heel position. Excellent job. All right, we've demonstrated for you the obedience commands we've worked on with Simba here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Simba, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.